Welcome to yet another edition of Brain Maths. On today's edition, we'll be looking at the number basis, similarly for number system. Have you ever asked your teachers, whenever they give you an addition that says 25 plus 58, let's look at this quickly. 5 plus 8 give us 13. We have 13. Our teachers will tell us that we will write 3 and keep 1 here. Have you ever taken your time to ask your teachers that the remainder from 13 is actually 10 and not 1? Why am I keeping 1 instead of keeping 10? This is a great question we need to ask ourselves. And this is not a mistake because the number system we use in the world for counting generally is in base 10. That is to tell you that the real addition they have done here, the real addition should have been 5 plus 8, 13. Because this number is in base 10, we are going to see how many 10 can we get in 13. That is 1. Remainder, 3. We have been writing the remainder all this while. And the 1 is a bundle, which is 10. 1 plus 2, 3. 3 plus 5, that is 8. Then we have 83. Also, have you ever asked your teacher, when you are given a subtraction of numbers that says, for example, 75 minus 18. 5 minus 8, we say it's impossible. Then we have to come to 7 and borrow 1. Remainder 6. Then this become 15. How is it 15? We said we borrow 1 from here. And putting it on the 5, supposed to give us 6. Why have they told us that it is 16? The answer is not far-fetched as well. This is a bundle of 10 borrowed from 70. This is 75. If we take 1 from A, it's supposed to be 74. So taking 1 and reducing 70 to 6 means we have 60 here. So the 1 we have taken from A is actually 10. When you put the 10 on this, then you have 15 and that is when you will be able to say 15 minus 8 to give you 7 and 6 minus 1 to give you 5 so today we will be looking at the number system our daily activities has been based on the number system in base 10 how about the numbers in other bases the numbers under base 2, are 0 and 1. While the number under base 3, are 0, 1, 2. The numbers under base 4, are 0, 1, 2, 3. And so on until we get to base 9. 0, 1, 2, 3, 2, 8. This is to tell us that when you are working in base 10, your numbers cannot pass 9, as we have seen in our daily activities. So, if our numbers cannot pass 9 in base 10, that is the reason why we have been borrowing. That is the reason why we have been adding and transferring numbers from one position to another. So in a short while, we are going to look at how to add numbers in different bases and how to subtract numbers in different bases as well. To add numbers in different bases, we need to note that all the numbers in a particular base cannot exceed the base, the base of that number. 
for instance if you're working in base 2 your numbers cannot exceed 2 in fact you cannot write 2 as your answer thus as we have seen earlier that if you're working in base 10 there is no addition that you ever do that, that will lead you to saying that your answer is 10 under any case except if you are at the final answer so for instance if you are adding numbers in base 2 let's take an example we have 1 0 1 1 plus 1 1 1 1 also in base 2 if you look at these numbers you will see that we do not have any number like 2 this is because we are working in base 2 just like you will not have any number as 10 in base 10 so we have the addition of this will give us 1011 plus 1111 all in base 2 so we have 1 plus 1 will give us 2 due to the fact that we are working in base 2 we cannot write 2 as our answer so what you will say is how many 2 can I get in 2 that is 1 remainder what zero then you add these numbers together again we have one plus one two plus one three how many two can i get in three that is one remainder one your remainder will be the answers that will be noted one plus one again will give us two how many two can we get in two that is one remainder zero one two three how many two can we get in three that is another one remainder one then this is counted as one plus zero which is going to give us one in base two also if we have one 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 in base two plus one zero one also in base two the addition of this one is going to give us 1 plus 1, 2. How many 2 in 2? 1. Remainder, 0. 1 plus 1 as well will give us 2. How many 2 can we get in 2? 1. Remainder, 0. 1 plus 1 plus 1 will give us 3. How many 2 can we get in 3? 1. Remainder, 1. 1 plus 1 is 2. How many 2 can we get in 2? 1 remainder zero so the last one will be noted as one all in base two what if we are now given another number in another base say base three or base four or base five or any other base what we are going to do is to note the base that is the most important thing and to also believe and note that our numbers cannot exceed the big base given to us. For instance, if you have 3, 6, 2. Look at these numbers. I have 6. I cannot write my base as 5. Because I have a number that is greater than 6 in the, in the system already. So my base may be from 7, 8, 9 or even 10. So let's take this in base 8. And we have another numbers to be added in base 8 as well. Let's try to do this together. So we have 2 plus 7. That is 9. And we are working in base 8. We cannot write 9. So we'll see how many 8 can I get in 9. That is 1. Then the remainder as usual will be noted as our answer. Then we have a remainder of 1. 1 plus 6 is 7. 7 plus 5, 12. How many 8 can I get in 12? 1. Remainder, 4. 1 plus 3, 4. 4 plus 6, 10. How many 8 can I get in 10? 1. Remainder, 2. Then the last one will be 1 plus 0, which is 1. All in base 8. Let's take another addition in base 9. If we have 5, 4, 3, 6 in base 9 plus 
five eight seven five also in base nine let's quickly do this addition six plus five is given as eleven how many nine can i get in eleven one remainder two one plus three four plus seven eleven again how many nine can i get in eleven one remainder two one plus four five five plus eight will give us thirteen how many nine can we get in thirteen one remainder four one plus five is six six plus five eleven how many nine can we get in eleven one remainder two then one plus zero will give us one all in base nine if you look at this you agree with me that there is no base given to us that does not have its own solution provided you know that whatever base is given to you all you need to note and know is that your answer cannot exceed that base so on this note we have come to the end of addition of numbers in different bases in our next edition we'll be looking at subtraction of number in different bases until i come your way again do have a wonderful day and don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you have not done so thank you and god bless you